Is that what that was? Yeah, it, it's a chocolate brioche. And chocolate brioche. Oh, yeah, that's how you say and, it. Oh. But it's got the red on there is some strawberries, oh, and it's cream cheese it oh. and some uh, yogurt mixed in mm. with a little bit of strawberry stuff in it. It looked yeah. like a really nice, tasty piece of cake to me. That's all I knew. So that's all I got. Yes, no. yes indeed. <laughs> okay, is so. That, is that kind of your, your favorite food? Would that be like a favorite game day food for you? Just sweets? No, that's a little much for me. No, I, I actually don't like sweets, but the, you said cheese, what? so my ears perked up. Okay. I don't like, we talk about, I don't like cake mm. and I don't like chocolate. Oh. I know, I'm the weirdest person. Bring all the candy bars to my house. I'm okay. a, I like french fries I, and potato chips. I'm a salty person. Uh, the, the food is chips and dip. Yeah, chips, chips and, and dip. dip. Right, so, for the, for, so for the big game, you just yep. want a big bowl of chips and dip? Yep. Yeah, okay. all right to there myself. on his lap. <laughs> All, all, all what do you want, Justin? Own. I'm with them. Chips and specifically spicy salsa. Like it, Ooh, it's weird yeah. in South Texas, so make it with a kick. So just the, the good old Cana Rotel and the Velveeta, yeah. which is wonderful. Oh, I yeah. love Anything that. Anything with yeah. cheese. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> she's she's um, a cheese lover. So you guys bring that to the party, and okay. we'll put you on the list okay. for the big and you game. you bring so. that red brooch thing or whatever, brioche or whatever. You bring <laughs> that. It's fancy. You know what? Yeah. It, it, it's not going to make it past the end of the show oh, with wow. all of us around here, so sorry about that. All right. By this commercial break after that, it'll be gone. Yeah. It's like a pack of hungry wolves around here. We'll take it from here, folks. But we want to know what for mm -hmm. the big game coming up, mm -hmm. and what is it, the first weekend of uh, yeah. February, I believe. Yeah. What's that food that you just love? What's yours? Chicken wings. Really? With blue cheese. Okay. I mean, I love doing a, mm -hmm. all just original. Or like, you know, do you like them coated in anything? Like, uh, you know, not, not too hot, right? But, you know, and maybe meatballs and all sorts of stuff and and chips and dip and all that. But I just love, you know, chicken wings and you just get in there and, and lots of blue cheese dressing on them. Big so. napkin tucked in. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just sit there, yes. you dollar your face. What about you? Oh, sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries. You, All the way. I love those. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It sweet doesn't potatoes. matter what holiday or celebration. It's sweet potato fries. So let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. What's your favorite game day food? And what a coincidence. Mm -hmm. You're talking about sweet potato fries. And mm. oh my goodness. Yes, we indeed. are already <laughs> counting down to the big super football game with fun party recipes. And Leo Davila with Humble House Foods is here. And. A lot of people just go for regular old fries, but sweet potatoes are one of the healthiest things you can eat. So this, is a, this is a healthy game Yeah, it's day. like that whole New Year's right. resolution, right? So, so we're, we're making, to go. What, what? We're actually going to make the sweet potato fries. Yes. So what we're doing is a, and a steak fries, and then this is a cornbread. So it's a gluten-free cornbread if you don't want to go on the fried route. Okay. okay. Um, so these guys are healthier because we did uh, put them in the oven for 400 degrees, let them uh, bake off for about 30, 45 minutes. Once those are done, now all we're going to do is we want a nice golden brown uh, crispiness all over the fry. Okay. So Fiona, while that's working, just throw those in there. What we did is with the Instant Pot craze. So right now they're, they're being sold all around town. Um, get your hands on one. It's a great tool to utilize in the kitchen. Cuts cooking down by really 80%. Basically, this is what used to be called a pressure cooker. Correct. It's a okay. pressure cooker right now. So what we did is we have a, a pork butt in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we threw a cup of water, a bottle of our habanero and ahi amadillo sauce, one of my favorites. So I, th I think a lot of people would look at this and go, I can't do a, a whole cook a whole pork butt or something like that. You just put the whole thing in yeah, there. Yeah, we cubed it up it, this morning. Well, okay. uh, we cooked it for 45 minutes. Um, it's really nice and tender. All we're going to do is throw that into a pan. What we did do, we threw so, uh, a couple cloves of garlic okay. as well as some uh, green onion stocks in there. So, Mike, if you'll shred that out, Fiona, how those all looking. Right. So far, so good. So far, so yeah, good. Yeah, so far, so So is it all about the sauce? It is all about the <laughs> sauce, right? Um, you can cook a million different things, but if you don't have a good base, a good sauce, it just right. kind of doesn't come through. So our sauces are flavor first, heat second. So uh -huh. it really allows uh, the flavor of those chilies to partner with any dish that you are cooking. You so know, since you love sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. this is going to be a great addition for you. You I know, promise. and I got I to gotta vouch for that because, of course, we had to sample this before <laughs> the, the show. And, uh, you know, it sample. just tasted like a good, you know, good pork, and then it's like, hmm, there's something else in there. And you said you had already put some of this in mm -hmm. there. So we let that cook. So the sauces are meant to be cooked with. We want you to actually okay. incorporate them into all the dishes you already love. So you don't have to really think about it. We just want to make it two to three items, throw it in there, let let the pan do all the work, and then you can enjoy. So what, what which one is that? That's called the... The habanero, habanero and ajiamadillo. So habanero, but not your spice, Your sauces aren't that spicy, right? Correct, yeah. correct. So it's a minimal level. I know people see the uh, see habanero, right. hear habanero, and they're no, like, whoa. can't do it. Uh, <laughs> this one is paired with an ajiamadillo chili, which is a proven chili that's naturally fruity. Now, eating it like this is a little bit... Here, 
It'll have a little kick it'll to it, yeah, but it won't, a little, won't be a too, kick too. To it, so there you go. Okay, so just want a little bit more in yeah, here. Yeah, a little bit more taste. Oh, that's that. perfect. If you want to know how those. Yeah. Uh, so they seem great. To be so fine. we can go ahead and throw them in this bowl. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to take. So we do three great pestos down at the Pearl Farmers Market every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, this item is a Farmers Market exclusive. The rest of this stuff can be found in HEB. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have a cilantro and a basil pesto. I personally love cilantro. Pesto is the best. It is. It is. <laughs> so this one's our version of a Texas pesto. It's cilantro, <laughs> white cheddar, and pecans. There should be a spoon right oh, there for you. There we go. Mike, how's that looking? Great. Oh, yeah, I put a little bit more sauce in there. So Awesome. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So then kind of mix it up. Beautiful. And then all we want is just a nice drizzle on top, toss the coat. Okay. Mike, you can get this cream. So we use an El Salvadorian cream, a uh, little bit um, creamier than a true uh, sour cream, really full flavored, really nice. We like using that. Can you get this at the door? Yes, sir. We bought it at HEB. Oh, really? Okay. So just so uh, while you're at HEB nice picking little... up our Primo Pick item, go ahead and pick up some of the cream as well. So yeah, right on top. Beautiful. Fiona, that looks great. Awesome. Just like that? Okay. Yeah, just like that. And then, Fiona, if you just want to mm-hmm. throw a beautiful mound right on top for us. There we go. Just like that? Yeah, just however Perfect. you want. And then just a nice little yeah, and plop of pork on top. And the reason I love this dish is because when you have family and friends over for the big mm-hmm. game, you don't want to be stuck cooking. So we cook these ahead of time. We throw them in to get a little crispiness on top. Mm. Now, so my, in, nope. in the kitchen, I mean, you have this sitting there with the cooked pork in it. Mm-hmm. You've got the, the fries sitting there. So everybody can just come by and assemble Absolutely. however they like. So a couple of red onions. Yes, sir. So we did a quick pickle on a red onion. We really okay. love that. Mm. And then we'll finish it with just a touch of green onions. Oh, yeah. okay. Give it a nice bite, a little color. And there you go, my friends. Oh, my goodness. How's that treating you? Oh, my gosh. It's so good. <laughs> with, that, with that cilantro <laughs> pesto on those sweet potatoes, right? Mm. Yeah. Good mm. stuff, right? That's the Oster Hage. Mm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we came in last time, and we got a lot of got a lot of good feedback on a uh, ancho cornbread that we did. So same thing. If you want to go in a different route than sweet potato fries or Yukon Golds, mm-hmm. uh, gluten-free cornbread recipe, we threw a little bit of our ancho into it. So it's an ancho cornbread, now the pulled pork, along with the red onions and green onions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Like you just want to tell us. It's like, that, that's your bowl right there. That's your no, bowl for This pork. is my bowl over here. So. <laughs> All right, and don't forget, Humble House uh, Foods and all the sauces, you can get them at uh, HEB's, and the pestos are only available there at the Farmer's Market over at the Pearl. And for more information on Humble House Foods, go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. It really is all about the sauce. That's yep. really, really, really good. Right? So, okay. <laughs> you know what usually happens when folks are on the sauce? They may start to do a little bit of a dance. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. David Elder takes us under the plate and into the kitchen of Dewilly's Barbecue, where you can boogie to the beat after you eat. David Elder with SA Live, and I'm out here at a place that's making delicious barbecue. Talk about D. Willie's Barbecue and Smokehouse right here off O'Connor Road in 35. We're going to go inside, check out their menu, see all the different things that they have smoking out in their shed, and check out all the delicious side items. And I heard there was a bar connected to it, so maybe we can get a drink. D. Willie's Barbecue is the newest barbecue joint on the northeast side of San Antonio. Pitmaster Derek Willis, a.k.a. D. Willie, cooks with passion, something he learned from his grandmother. The smoke, the meat, the pepper, the salt, everything that gathering together is, says barbecue to me. Derek started barbecuing in the parking lot of Country Nights Bar last year, but had some trouble getting started. That's when Freddy Cruz stepped in. I was a good customer of his, and when I found out about the problem, I approached him and I told him that I believe we could open a restaurant. And uh, when he came to me and says, what do you really believe we can? I said, sure. And I came and showed him this place, and I made some arrangements with Country Nights, Dahlia, the owner of Country Nights here, and I'm able to rent out the part of the actual bar, which is a dance hall, that doesn't get used at all. Now, the dynamic duo has teamed up to create some of the best barbecue on the northeast side during the day, at a popping dance hall at night. <laughs> I had to go back to get suckers on real, so it was good. From the pit, brisket, sausage, turkey, chicken, and ribs are smoked and seasoned with their special blend. You check this out. You got the whole platter that you can get. This thing is massive. This is like for a party of people. Now, I have it here just for myself, so I'm going to do my best to eat as much as I can. Into the barbecue sauce, trying out some turkey first. Really nice, light, smoky flavor on there. Still nice and moist, nice and tender. It's like the perfect turkey you would want on Thanksgiving Day. Nice smoke ring on the outside there. Creme de la creme, this is the brisket. Brisket, pickle, onion, barbecue sauce. 
That's perfect barbecue right there. And if you're hankering for something sweet, their banana pudding will satisfy. Banana pudding. This looks delicious. Gonna hop in there, and it smells good. You know, it just smells sweet. That's just good. Oh, oh that's crazy. <laughs> D. Willie's has great atmosphere and delicious food. A must visit for barbecue enthusiasts. So you guys got to come out of here. D. Willie's barbecue, delicious stuff, and the sides are really the best part for me. I mean, the loaded potato salad and the cream corn, some of the best I've ever had here in South Texas. You guys got to come try it out. Keep eating San Antonio, and for SA Live, I'm David Elder. David is holding that tray full of food, uh -huh. and then it magically appears right I know. in front of us. Through the magic of TV. Oh, and look at the, oh, and through the magic of TV, I'm taking a bite. Oh. Oh, Freddy Cruz joins us for Dewey's Barbecue. Thank you, thank this you. This is an incredible spread here. <laughs> and you are fast becoming one of the best known and best barbecued places in town. Yes, sir, that's correct. What's your secret? Well, it's just cook with love and cook the way the people want it. You know, no processed stuff, no fast stuff. Just cook it with love, take your time, and make it right. And it's not just this right here. I mean, we've got some desserts. Is that pecan praline Right, pecan cake? praline cake and, and banana pudding. And banana pudding. Ah, that's, you know, that's his favorite, one of his well, favorite probably desserts. Will be. He'll be hooked forever. Let's, let's try this. And Wayne's <laughs> over there slicing up that brisket. Yeah, yeah. How long did that brisket cook? So fresh cooked. 14 really hours on the brisket. 14 hours. Yeah. Mm. Low and Tell slow. Tell them how we cook it, Wayne. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We mm. cook it with uh, a blend of mesquite and oak. Mesquite and oak. About 14 hours. Blend of mesquite and oak, 50, 50, Sorry, 14 hours. It's well, okay, I've got, I've got it over there. I didn't want to waste it over there. So. <laughs> and where are you located? We're at 12130 O'Connor Road, right in the corner of O'Connor and Wurzbach Parkway. Okay, and you used to be the little bit of story about behind, behind your place? You used to be outside, now you moved indoors, is that it? And you can uh, dance It started with the food truck. It started Der with food truck. Derek is our founder of D. Willie's Barbecue, and Derek started in a food truck, and then we had to go inside of a building because he couldn't actually cook inside the truck. Okay. And so we went right inside of the building. And the rest, they say, is, is history. History, history. History, which is like what's about to happen to that cake. Enjoy yeah, that. and all of this. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, uh, I don't need utensils. Okay. All right, next on the show, it's the ultimate party animal setting for your kids next birthday. The Humane Society is here with some four-legged friends who are ready to shake their tails off for a wagon good time. I hope this is good. And, hey, go take a hike with your kids. Where to go? Take on the great outdoors while getting in on some good exercise. That's coming up. downtown San Antonio. This is SA Live. Oh, bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay, yay. Oh. It's a party that's gone to the dogs. Oh, my goodness. Look <laughs> at that little one with puppy. He looks like he's still recovering from the party look. last night. You know, <laughs> that's all I look when, on Sunday morning, don't they? <laughs> Oh, she's gonna go. Oh, she's out. She's out. Hi. Welcome. Wake up. It's, Welcome it's, back. It's, it's party this time. This is your so, moment. This is your you know, moment. When my kids were little, it always seemed like every party was trying to outdo the other ones. Like, what do you do to kind of one up? Well, mm -hmm. how about just going out there and having a dog a party with dogs and puppies? A right? dog on good time. A dog on good time. Felicia Nino <laughs> with the San Antonio Humane Society is here. So you are now talking about hosting parties there, right? Yes, definitely. It's something we used to do a couple years ago, and so we're bringing it back. Uh, it was pretty popular, and so kiddos from five years of age and up, or adults, whatever age you want to be, you can come on out and have your party at the San Antonio Main Society, get a behind-the-scenes tour of the shelter, get to meet all of our adoptable animals, you know, interact with them. And we also have some really cool packages that include some games, some activities, of course, a selfie station. So we have some of these cute little uh, selfie props. And so with- So is, is the bingo game, you walk around and you find the animals that match that, a corgi or a Russian blue or something, or a Doberman? That's a great idea. That's okay. a great idea. <laughs> that's, that's actually not genius, how we're going Mike. to play it, but we might, oh. we might do that though. <laughs> I really like that. I thought you walked through the kettles going, okay, there's a collie, there's and, a and sphinx, there's and, a... Yeah, right? That's <laughs> perfect. That's a great idea. Uh, usually, it's just going to be regular bingo. Okay. Um, and it'll help, of course, with the kiddos, you know, trying to figure out what the breed is and helping them identify the different breeds and the, you know, distinguishing marks or distinguishing things about them. So we're excited about these games. And uh, then we have some little goodies with our premium package that they can take home and all of their friends and family can sign this little doggy here. And so they get to adopt a little pup 
If they oh. don't want to adopt a real one, of course, then they get this one here. Okay, let's just cut to the chase here. Your goal <laughs> is to really, you know, have kids go, Mommy, Mommy, what this puppy? I'm with this puppy. So you're going to end up if adopting happens, out 27 dogs happens. at a birthday party. So yeah. if it happens, I mean, it happens. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Last I mean. year, we adopted out over 5,000 pets. So right. hopefully this year will be another successful year. And if it helps to get these guys adopted or maybe to even get them to foster or volunteer, then we're definitely welcome to... To well, that. Go ahead. Well, who do we have here? Because this party animal's out. Oh, my gosh, yes. So you have Aww. Rapunzel, mm -hmm. a two-month-old little boxer pit bull mix, and Aww. this is her brother. They're two months old, and he's Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> and they'll actually be available for adoption on Sunday at the Botanical Garden's Winter Paws event. Excuse me for reaching Rapunzel's in front of you, Fiona, but we got to mention that, of course, beauty sleep no party is complete without a cake. And Positively <laughs> oh Sweet Bakery gosh. brought the, the cake for the, the little yeah. doggies there. So Positively Sweet Bakery. Yes, maybe that'll yeah, hopefully you she wakes up. You don't know what you're missing out with. The cake <laughs> is here. smell the peanut you, butter? It's, okay. it's cake time. And All some right. of the games that you play besides the uh, dog and cat, I thought bingo. it was like the car bingo, you know, where you got to see it and find it. Anyway, okay. um, and it's pin the... Pin the tag on, on the, the collar. Okay. So okay. I would love for y'all to try it and, and show. I won. <laughs> I need to We have a special you. blindfold. <laughs> for okay. You. Well, so. okay. All right, let me go like this. I'm, I'm going to have to wake you up, little Rapunzel. Hi, babe. I can actually hold it behind you. Mike. You want to be on the ground? Here you, we go. You got it? Here okay. we go. Here we go, Mike. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. go. Okay. What do you do? Spin me around, Fiona? Okay. We're going to move Fiona's Rapunzel before you accidentally <laughs> stop. <laughs> Good idea. Let's, let's I, I can hold it. You, oh, yeah. You're going to hold it? Yeah. I, I won't cheat. You. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me spin you. Okay. Let me spin you. Not too many times. Okay. I'll get dizzy. You know okay. that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. Now, go ahead. <laughs> wow. I am dizzy right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Good try. <laughs> okay. On the nose. Close enough. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the nice thing, too, uh, getting the kids out mm -hmm. there to see actually behind the mm -hmm. scenes yes. actually, what goes on at the, yes. the San Antonio Humane Society. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot that goes into taking care of, you know, hundreds of pets at our shelter. Um, so it's important for kiddos to find out you know, what goes into it? How do we take care of them? How often should they eat throughout the day? And of course, this is just raising awareness of pet responsibility in general. Um, so it's a great opportunity to come on out. Let's see if we can get these yeah. guys to Jeez. wake on up. There's the cake. Come on, guys. Okay. All right. So party packages to look up and everything. <laughs> you just got to head on to uh, salive.com for a link to the Humane Society website, which will have all <laughs> that information. Ooh. 4804 like no, 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 Fredericksburg eight. Road, just outside at Loop 410. <laughs> Felicia, thank you very much. Thank you for having us. See you on GMSA next week. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, coming up on SA Live, take on the trails of nature with your toddlers, how one local hiking group is staying active with their kids. And Sunday, fun day with bread box. If you're ready to brunch, we've got a French toast recipe that'll take your bread to some next level goodness. But boy, old glory is getting a workout. Those winds are going to be gusting close to 40 miles per hour, and there is a wind advisory in effect up until midnight. Ooh. It's going to stay windy all day and even tomorrow. all night long, as Lionel <laughs> Richie would say. So Robert Dart kept talking about that this morning all the time. Okay, back to the topic at hand. If you're looking for <laughs> a way to ease your way into a healthier lifestyle, or you just want to look for a new activity, this is a club you may want to join. Oh, yeah. One local group goes on hikes, taking on trails with their kids in tow. Jen Tobias Trusky has more. Come on, let's go for a Okay. Hike. So the ultimate goal is 
to get outside with those little ones. So it's a mommy, daddy, nanny, granny group, um, and we just encourage and promote getting outside with, you know, your babies. A lot of first-time moms, you know, maybe have that problem with that first step of getting outside with the kids. And so you have a little group that says, hey, come out, meet with us. You know, let's just walk, no strings attached. Let's just get out and enjoy ourselves. It's an instant bond for the Hike It Baby group, connecting through nature and their kiddos to take on trails across the city. Uh, so we're not like roughing it on the trails, but we do like to get out into the nature, even if it's just a, you know, paved area where we can take the stroller and just let her, our three-year-old especially, roam. Yes, roaming and exploring, and well, they may not even realize they're exercising too. And I see brand new bugs that I haven't ex dis us discovered yet. So that's um, how, why I like to go hiking, because I get to discover stuff. Ready, set, go! Hikes range from one mile to five miles. We go at the pace of, you know, of the people. So we stop for, you know, maybe a crying child, or an upset child, a hungry child, someone that needs to be fed, yeah. diaper changed, yeah. nursed. And so, you know, we're really an, at the pace of the group, you know, which is really wonderful. This trail is at Stone Oak Park. Um, the kids really like it because there's a tunnel at the end. They get to screen through the tunnel. <laughs> It gives her a lot of self-confidence because a lot of the walks are like led by the kids. So it kind of gives her time where she can learn how to kind of be the leader. The kids just enjoy it so much and they're making a lot of good friends and they're getting out in nature and that is like the biggest part. We just want kids to get outside. We have a couple that lead um, weekly hikes. So Stone Oak is one of our weekly hikes. Um, Cathedral Rock is a weekly hike. We used to have folks at Comanche Park, Eisenhower Park, Government Canyon. Um, I mean, there's so many. You know, there's, there's parks and shirts and in Converse. I mean, all over San Antonio. You can go, go. So if you're looking to stay active with your little ones, and if you want safety in numbers, why don't you take For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. Coming up on SA Live, we're about two weeks into the new year, and some folks may already be falling off the resolution wagon. We caught up with TV power couple Juliana and Bill Rancic. They spilled their secret on sticking to their goals that can help you too. Plus, if brunching is your weekend sport, oh yeah, this dish will have you dancing in the end zone. It is a French toast twist with chocolate twist. We're going to tell you where you can gobble it up right after the break. a thousand words it's beautiful outside but oh my goodness there's the napkin that you're going to want to just dab your mouth with after you delight okay go down to the dish dad. <laughs> look at this that is chocolate brioche french toast with a strawberry just a strawberry cream filling strawberry cream filling mm -hmm. you know it's one o'clock but hey brunch is good any time of the day and good. from the bread box lucas kent is here and if you didn't know it's you supply bread and rolls and everything else for how many different hotels around town we have about 50 different accounts of the top restaurants and hotels around san antonio okay well let's get back to uh this delectable looking brunch item so we're using a chocolate brioche what is brioche for people that aren't familiar with it so. well brioche is a French style bread and it has a lot of egg and butter in there so it just mm -hmm. makes it a really nice and soft and supple just a really wonderful dessert almost a, a dessert bread okay so you wouldn't necessarily want to put a ham and cheese sandwich on or you I would love to put a ham and cheese sandwich on that bread yes okay I'll bite so, <laughs> all right, you're gonna start with the <laughs> oh yeah I'll start with the you start with the filling and I'll start with the the custard so how are we making the filling here so today we're gonna do we're gonna put the uh, cream cheese first mm -hmm. so you want this Cream cheese to be nice and room temperature, not fresh out of the refrigerator. Because you really got to, to mush it up so it's nice. You got to mush it right? up, get it nice and creamy, and then we're going to add some of this powdered sugar to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then get that working together. Now, would you do that with at home with a uh, mixer? Is that you can that use a, a mixer. Simpler? That'd be a lot okay. simpler. Just use your paddle mix paddle attachments, and that'll uh, make it a little quicker, a little easier. 
But still, you want pretty soft butter. I mean, uh, cream cheese. And like you're doing, the best thing to do is just a spatula, just, rubber spatula. Yeah, just that, take so. a spatula. And, and then the yogurt? And then we're going to add a, a fresh Greek yogurt to it. Okay. Uh, just has a nice acidity to it. Uh, and I suppose if you wanted to, you could use flavored yogurt, but you're yeah. going to use that strawberry preserves in there. Right, we're going to add our own flavor in it. Okay. And then for the custard, I've got two farm fresh eggs. And is this uh, heavy cream? That is actually half and half. Oh, half and half, okay. So it's a little lower fat content than that. And cinnamon, which so is we have great about to put teaspoon, in. About okay. a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit uh, of vanilla. vanilla, and then some granulated sugar. And sugar in the, the French toast, which this would take the place, obviously, maybe of syrup for the sweetness, but there's another reason you said to. Right. The right? other reason is just to get a nice brown caramelization to the outside of that French toast. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of swirl. Now, besides Robert. supplying all the breads to all the different restaurants and everything like that, can folks just stop by your place and pick up a loaf of this wonderful chocolate brioche? Yes, we sell uh, we sell our breads and pastries and desserts mm -hmm. uh, retail as well. They're right by our front counter. Okay. And where are you located? We are at the Alley on Bitters, uh, right in the heart of the alley. Uh, and that's uh, Bitters uh, between 281 and... Between 281 and uh, Blanco. Okay. So... Dip a slice in there and just... Now, would yeah, just you leave it. this out to get it a little bit dry so it would absorb more of the moisture? Is you that, can that do that, good, good but then... To do or? Yes, you can do that. Uh, but, you know, fresh brioche is really good, too, because you're going to have a lot of moisture in there, okay. and it's just going to be really nice and uh, soft. Nothing like French toast for a Saturday breakfast, a Sunday brunch, a Monday dinner, whatever the case may be. Okay. Breakfast at dinner time is always fantastic, always, too, isn't always it? Always good, so. yes. Okay, what's the secret to good bread the secret to good bread is really time okay. so uh time to let the all the flavors come together and the mm -hmm. yeast to rise and uh provide a really nice flavor uh with the with the fermentation of the yeast with the sugars in the bread um and also good ingredients so trying to find uh locally sourced freshest uh, wheats as possible is always uh something that's going to make your bread that much better Okay, and you actually have little bits of chocolate. I don't know if you can see it in there, in that yeah. chocolate brioche. It's not just in the batter, but little tiny bits in there. Oh, wait, that piece broke off. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, didn't want to let that yeah. go away. So, how is it? It's, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. That chocolate shines through, right? Wow. Yeah. You could eat that with nothing on it, but while that finishes up cooking, you made one over here, so, yeah. and we've got... Again, the beautiful chocolate brioche, and then, hello, Fiona. Hi. Would you like the first little nibble there? <laughs> Did I get here just the you right got, time? You got here just oh in time. God. Try that, so. Okay. I love how you said nibble, and I took the whole thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, my Can I have gosh. a little strawberry okay. without too? Lucas, mm. from the Bread Box, thank mm. you very much for more information on the Bread Box. Oh, my goodness. This yep. is so good. Yep. Go over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, celebrating San Antonio's big 300th birthday. We're sharing a list of some of the coolest events that you must attend. And earlier we asked you, what do you like? <laughs> what? Well, talk wait. with your mouth full. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. Ooh, wild that's their flavor. game day food. Mm. This might be a Those second look for good. you. I could eat this. Watch it. The new year is a time to reflect on the past year and to commit doing better in the coming year. However, millions of Americans make a New Year's resolution that they won't likely keep. But one of the best ways to get them to stick doing them together as a family. Joining us today are TV personalities, Juliana and Bill Rancic, to share more on how we can all stay on that resolution wagon instead of falling off. Good morning, Hi. we are here to help. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Hey, hey so, so this year, y'all decided to go in this together as a family, which means including your son, Duke. How does that help? You know, it's funny. Statistically, when you do a New Year's resolution as a family or in a group, you increase your odds by 85% that you're going to stick to it. So like most people, Julian and I, we always made individual resolutions, never had any success. No. So we said this year, we're doing it a little differently. We're going to do it together. We're going to help each other. We're going to stay on the course. And good news, we're 11 days in. Oh, wow. And we have complete success. <laughs> yes, we do. 
So what are those resolutions for 2018 for you guys? So our main resolution is one day a week, we are having a family dinner and game night. So very simple, very simple. Any family can do it. Uh, and we teamed up with Marshalls and got all the right stuff to do just that. Uh, from, you know, kitchen essentials, cooking essentials, um, the games, they, they even sell the games. They, you know, as you probably know, they have great high quality brand name items at amazing, amazing prices. Uh, so we're off to a good start because we actually made that little bit of investment. They say that when you make an investment, when you buy some of the products that help with the resolution, uh, you're more likely to stick to the resolution. So, so far so good. And um, we also got a tray. This is helpful. Even if you just get a tray, a device tray, to put all your devices away during that special night, whether it's your phones, your iPads, put everything on the tray. That way you can have a more meaningful mm -hmm. experience with the family. And I love, uh, I love what you said there is that you up. are invested you know you've invested some time and you've invested some money that's you right know? so you're in you're that's all right. in so we're about two we weeks in committed. you know how is it going so far well you know one thing we did is, is we wrote it down and we put that list on our bathroom mirror so we have a few other resolutions as well I won't bore you with the details but when you write it down you put that list and, and it's a list where you can see it every single day like we do every morning when we're getting ready it helps you stay on track so we're doing really well I mean yeah I, I got a good feeling I think we're gonna check in with you on December 29th and let you know uh, how we did, but I, I feel pretty strong about it. But Bill always says, it's so true, and that's why the trace so helpful. He always says, hang up and, and hang, hang out, um, which is so, you know, which is great. You know, so many people get to the dinner table and we're still, you know, on the phone and, and we're like, oh, but it's work or it's a school thing or whatever it is. Uh, but when you just kind of say, you know what, you got to hang up and hang out, uh, it actually goes a long way. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's been good. It's mm -hmm. been really nice and our son's enjoying it too because he likes to be part of the plan. You does know, he, he like to, to cook? Kinda, he, he does he actually. He loves to cook. He, he is, loves to help daddy. He's got a little chef hat that we bought him and oh, um, so his apron. So maybe yeah, a chef in the committed. making or will he follow in one of your footsteps? We do, we do own a handful of restaurants, so uh, if he does become a chef, I can pretty much guarantee employment for him. Uh, he can work at one of the RPM restaurants he that can. we own. Uh, right. So he, he's always going to have a job. All right, great stuff. Thank you so much, Julianne and Bill Rancic, and a happy new year to you both. Uh, Thanks, happy Fiona. New year. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tomorrow on SA Live, we're helping you gear up for the big game. How about a big tray of delicious food? Our resident foodie, David Elder, takes you inside Fat Boy Burgers to give you a taste of some of their delicious dishes. That's tomorrow at 1. Well, from rodeo to fiesta, San Antonio knows how to party. Uh -huh. Go, girl. Keep going. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. okay. <laughs> and with a huge tricentennial celebration in full swing, there are tons of events to help the Alamo City celebrate the big 300. Here's just a few of them. Take a look. Get ready for a big celebration, San Antonio, from music festivals to art exhibits. 2018 is going to be filled with lots of fun and interactive events happening all around the city throughout the entire year. We kicked off 2018 with our big New Year's Eve celebration, but the fun doesn't stop there. In January, celebrate our city's art and culture with the unveiling of Confluence Park, a unique interactive recreational space. It'll be just one of our city's many public art installations. With the city turning the big 300, you can't forget about our history. In March, visit the Whitty Museum's exhibit, 300 Years of San Antonio, and discover where it all began. But the biggest event you simply cannot miss, Commemorative Week. It's happening May 1st through the 6th. We are celebrating Interfaith Day, History and Education Day, Founders Day, Arts for All Day, Legacy Day, and Military Appreciation Day. Each day will be filled with distinctive events to showcase the collective essence of San Antonio. And of course, the Tricentennial isn't just about celebrating, it's also about giving back to the community. You'll have multiple opportunities to volunteer through our Serve SA events throughout the commemorative year. For a full calendar of events, head on over to our website, ksat.com. You know, if nothing mm. else, it's mm. a good way to remind you to get out and enjoy a bunch of stuff. How, like about, enjoy, how about enjoying Monster Jam? Yep, we want to send you there free. It's coming up next weekend.
Monster Jam is coming to the Alamodome January 20th and 21st. We are going to be giving away right now a family four-pack of tickets. Family you... four-pack to Monster Jam. <laughs> yes. To enter, follow what it says at the bottom of the screen. Facebook.com forward slash SA Live KSAT. Click SA the link. Live KSAT. <laughs> I'm not sure if you Monster sound like Monster Jam, Jam or if you're trying to do Batman. That hurts my throat <laughs> after a while. Anyway, uh, click on the link for your chance to win. The post is pinned at the top of our Facebook page so you can't miss it. All rules and regulations are posted on our website at SALive.com. Good luck. Monster Jam. Monster Jam. We ate a lot of really good food today. Yeah, yeah. I, I think know. you still have a little there on your lip. Mm -hmm. I think I do. <laughs> Tomorrow on SA Live, score a major touchdown with your family and friends with a big old tray of good food. David Elder heads to Fat Boy Burgers to unveil something very special. And to wash it all down, how about a really good margarita? We're shaking things up with the Poor Horse Mobile Bar all tomorrow at 1. And before we go, we yes! have a new face that we have to introduce you to. This is our... Wonderful intern, intern Selena! Fooled you, didn't I? Yeah. I said, here, yeah. could you come in here so you can <laughs> grab my script for me? So anyway, you having fun so far? Uh, You're still coming back day after day, so that's a that's a good thing, right? Yes. So far, so good. We haven't scared her off yet. So. Uh, well, it's not tomorrow. Take us, take us out. Say